Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am just here today with a quick reminder and a little look at some of the highlights from yesterday's live chat that I did with Mary Gunn of Cut the Crap and Create. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I know that I gave you a heads up about it, but some of you said you would not be able to catch a live and that you would catch the replay of my little stint on Cut the Crap and Create, which is a new live series here on YouTube hosted by Mary Gunn of Craft Roulette fame. Well, that took place yesterday, and today the replay is up and live on YouTube. Now, I will link that in the description box below so you can go check it out, but I wanted to give you a look at what I created when we did a little chatting and just give you some of the highlights and hope that will interest you to click on that link. So yesterday we just spent time crafting and chatting. It was almost like I was able to get together again in person and craft with someone. It was so nice. I learned more about Mary and her fun university and she learned some more about me and I hope that you will too when you watch it. Now keep in mind it is quite long but what I did I listened to it while I went and got my daughter from school, waited in the pickup line, worked on cleaning up my craft room after the session. Yes, I did listen to it again. I just wanted to hear what I said since I didn't really get to in the moment. And it was almost like listening to a podcast because the creation or the crafting wasn't the biggest part of the video. That was just something kind of we did on the side while we were chatting. So I hope that you'll check that out. You might want to grab yourself a drink or a snack before you get started, but I hope that you're going to love it. Now, if you have watched it or after you go watch it, come back here and let me know what you thought. So in front of me here are the cards that I put together during our little chat. I used the July 2020 sheet load of cards and everything was cut up beforehand. I just assembled it and I did the stamping yesterday. So I will show you a little close up of each of those. In case you're curious, the pattern paper I used on these cards, it was actually two sheets of the same pattern paper. You had the front and the back, and this was from the Open Book Collection from Crate Paper. I got this recently at my local scrapbooking store, my local stamping store. I'm not sure if it's still in production. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But some other things I did was I added little vellum die cut doilies behind my sentiment. And speaking of sentiment, I used two different sets from Paper Tray Ink, Signature Greetings 1 and Signature Greetings 2. Unfortunately, those aren't available anymore, but I know that there are lots of stamp companies out there that make these stamps where there's some cursive handwriting and some printed font. And then, of course, I accented it with my little Elizabeth Craft Designs glitter dots. You know I love those for some sparkly flat embellishments. And I almost forgot, because I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I gave a little impromptu tour of my craft room. It's not 100% put together, but it was nice and clean, so we thought that would be a great time to give you a little sneak peek. 
And then at the end, I did get out some other supplies just to play around with a little ink blending. I saw this technique in a video the other day by Yana. I will see if I can find that again and I'll link it below. I just really liked the angled kind of um, areas and the white spaces in between. I was really just messing around here. I just wanted to give it a try. And that's kind of what Cut the Crap and Create is about. Just having fun, experimenting, chatting. I hope that now that this video is over, you'll click on that link below to go watch that replay. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.